everyone, and welcome to Pyre TV. It's great to be back. I'm Siobhan McGurl. And I'm Stephanie Gomolka. Today, we'll be taking a look at Free Laundry on Campus, the Student Activities Board's $5 events, and the Commuter Hall Pilot Program. Students have been reveling in the opportunity to get their laundry done for free on campus. What usually costs $1.25 per load has been free since the beginning of the year. However, Housing Director Albert Cardona explains that the free loads of wash are not a permanent thing. The run-free machines are only temporary because of electric parts that are on back order. Once they receive the parts, it will be back to the card-operated machines. Commuters and residents are raving about the Pirate Cove's new renova renovations and menu options. The favorite hangout, now newly furnished, offers more seating, along with new menu options from a wide variety sushi bar and pre-prepared meals catered towards the students on the go. South Orange has made advancements over the summer to the town. Raquelton's Pub has opened up in the train station parking lot, and the Dancing Blunder has opened up on South Orange Avenue, aimed to accommodate students who have diets such as gluten-free and vegan. The owner, Manny Adele, explains that it is a place that allows healthy alternatives so close to campus. The Student Activities Board is offering student interest events with more bang for your buck, only $5. Planned activities like rafting trips and Yankee games were quick to sell out. The high demand continues on with the Enrique Iglesias and Pitbull concert, still on sale for September 25th. If you'd like to add your own input for what the next event should be, be sure to participate in the SAB survey they hold every year. Let's take it over to Cedria with your Pirate Sports update. Cedria? Thank you, Siobhan. It's Cedria Thomas with today's recap of Seton Hall. Sports on Saturday, the women's volleyball team abolished Dartmouth with a 3-0 set sweep in the Seton Hall Classic Tournament. Senior Shelby Manthrope put on a show for the Pirate fans, tallying a double-double consisting of 27 assists to go with her 17 digs. The Pirates showed in the first but quickly took advantage and went on a 9-1 run, resulting off of blocks from Ashani Rubin and Molly Grammer. They ended the game quickly in the third set with the 25-16 victory. The Lady Pirates went on later Saturday night to win the tournament against Tennessee State. Extending their unbeaten streak to four, the women's soccer team defeated LIU Brooklyn on Friday with a static 3-1 victory. Within five minutes of the game, Kirsten Kosh and Sit Frioli each scored their first goal of their career. The Lady Pirates started off the game with an early onslaught in their first home win. Make sure you cheer on the girls as they head on the road to take on Friars and Butler this upcoming weekend. Wiping off the devastating loss to Princeton last weekend, the Seton Hall men's soccer team played number 18 George Mason to a scoreless draw on Friday. The unstoppable Julian Splinter performed wonders as he turned away seven shots, his personal best. In the 102nd minute, Splinter had his highlight save, an acrobatic save he made on Timmy Mulgrew. Many opportunities to score were lost to the competitive defense of George Mason. The Pirates accomplished victory in giving George Mason 5-0 their first winless game. Round up all your friends and come support the men's soccer team under the lights tomorrow as they host Monmouth University at 7 p.m. And that's all for the Pirate Sports. I'm Sadria Thomas. Now back to Stephanie and Siobhan with more of your upcoming events. Thanks, Sadria. It sounds like we're going to have an exciting season for Pirate Sports. In other news, Seton Hall's new pilot program in dorms is now allowing commuters to swipe in without a resident present. The dorm halls would be open to commuters who request to take part of the program, Monday through Friday from 9.30 to 4.30 p.m. To get approved for the program, simply complete the online application on our school website during the ad drop period. If you missed the past opportunity, applications will be available again in the spring semester. In the wake of the 13th anniversary of the attack on September 11th, Seton Hall students remember. Senior Jalen Ortega explains that 9-11 was a blur. She was in third grade and would never forget watching the towers engulfed in smoke on the news. Many Seton Hall students say they were impacted that day and will hold the victims near to the heart. There was a special memorial set at every mass praying for those affected. Last Friday was Talk Like a Pirate Day. Naturally, a group of Seton Hall Pirates and the Student Alumni Association took a trip to Times Square and were featured on Good Morning America. The students went equipped with signs that had pirate lingo on them and wore pirate garb. A good day for Seton Hall pride indeed. 
Now let's head over to this week's weather with John Carlo. Thanks, Stephanie, and hello, I'm John Carlo Carnaval, and this is your five day forecast. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 56 degrees. And then tomorrow you're going to see some partly cloudy skies with a high of 74 and a low of 58. And then Thursday will also be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 56. And Friday will be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 59. And finally, Saturday will be sunny with a high of 83 and a low of 60 degrees. I'm John Carlo, and this has been your five day weather forecast. Now back to Stephanie and Siobhan with more of the news that you need to know. Thank you, John Carlo. A new app, Just In Case, is offering emergency lifelines to students. The app serves to aid students by giving them access to important information and who to contact during mental health emergencies. It offers outlets outside of public safety and other associations on campus to better expand outreach and help for each individual situation. You can only download the app by scanning the barcode on posters on campus or just go to the Just In Case website. Greek life has expanded on the campus of Seton Hall University. With the addition of the CPC sorority Alpha Omicron Pi, the sorority had their colonization last week and they are eager to start their sisterhood together. Head Greek Life Coordinator Maggie Bach explained that she is hopeful for the success of the new sorority and the effect it will have on the Seton Hall community. And that concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Stephanie Gamolka. And I'm Siobhan McGraw. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.